All right, are we recording? <laughs> yeah, good day, Dino. Good day, Dino friends. I cannot. Good day, Dino friends, and welcome to Build a Boat for Treasure. Psych, psych. We're in my game. It has been renamed Build a Tycoon for Treasure. Yes, it was called Build a Boat for Treasure Tycoon. Everyone said no. It has to be called build a tycoon for treasure not build a boat for treasure tycoon so i decided all right all right if everyone wants that we'll change the name i'm just recording this really fast to tell you guys that we're really close to finishing the alpha version of the game it's almost time to go into the beta and then we just put some finishing touches I'm doing in real life. I'm now pretending to be um, what's he called? Salt Bay, the guy with the salt. That's me sprinkling the the finishing touches on this game. Okay, the finishing touches on this game, and then version 1.0 will be released. So, I think there will be like a, maybe a week left, possibly less. It depends how much work we get done tomorrow, but. It's going to be very soon and it's going to be in the beta, which is why I'm giving you guys this warning. The alpha badge, you know, this beautiful, this is probably the most beautiful badge you've ever seen. I made it myself in Microsoft Paint. You can only get it for a little bit of time. Maybe as little as one day if we get the beta done, because all we have to do is make four more droppers. But usually I'm taking it slow and doing only like one dropper or two droppers per stream. So it's and I have to do a lot of work on other games as well. So I'm going to probably not get it done by tomorrow, but maybe I'll make them really quickly and have them done by tomorrow, which means tomorrow would be the beta, which means you only have one day left to get the alpha badge. So for those of you who didn't see the last video, um, I'm working on a game that is basically a tycoon. I've always wanted to make a tycoon in Roblox. So I decided, you know what? I'll just make a simple one. I don't want to... It's not going to be like my ultimate game, you know? This is more for me practicing Roblox Studio than it being a really big game. But I decided to make it themed after Build a Boat for Treasure. So it's made to look as if it, the whole tycoon is in Build a Boat for Treasure. So all the droppers drop blocks from Build a Boat for Treasure, etc. So, um, since the last video, I finished most of the decorations that you can unlock. So last time we only had this wall. Now we also have that part of the wall. We have those walls that you can unlock. We have trees on the walls. We have small trees here, big trees here, flowers everywhere. I think that's it. I think that's all the decorations. I'm going to try to put more decorations later. Uh, I think I'll make maybe an actual boat somewhere here that you can unlock. Uh, anyway, for showing this, if you're wondering why the droppers are here, I, that's just for me showing you. Of course, in the game, the droppers are all over the river, but they're kind of close together, so it's kind of hard to show them. So that's why I've decided I just put them here. So let's check out the droppers. <laughs> this one drops wood. This one drops seeds. You can actually sit on it. I think I've shown it last time. This one's new. The trussing dropper. You know the trussing block. The wood pillar dropper. The wood wedge. That's the word. Wedge dropper. Cobblestone dropper. Some of them have shadows. Some of them don't. I'm, try I'm going to delete the shadows for most of them. That's a tip that I got from Xenak. He said, if you remove the shadows, there will be less lag. Just keep shadow for a few things so there won't be too much lag. So only a few things will have shadow. Just enough to make it look nice. But not if you give shadow to all the tiny blocks, you will get lag. That's what he said. So I'm going to follow his advice. Uh, let's see. Cobblestone. Cobblestone pillar. They're the same. Just a recolor. Uh, rust block drop. No, wait. Yes, this one's rust block. This one is rust pillar. Look at this. It looks like the, it's actually like broken and rusted and lava is even coming out or something like that. Okay, this one's the brick one. Um, so, of course, they are next to the river. But I've moved them away so you can see them more easily. Then we have the chair dropper. 
The chair dropper is not done. So this is also your last chance if you're watching and you wanted to help with the game. This is your last chance to design one of the last four droppers that we still need. So if you want to help, you can help design those. So this one will be the chair dropper, not the seat dropper, which sometimes people confuse for each other. So that one over there is the seat dropper. You know, the wooden seat, this is the gray and black chair. They're different. This is the balloon dropper. And I'm trying to make it so when you unlock the balloon dropper, you get a balloon. But I'm having two problems. The one you just saw, every time you equip it, well, not every time, every time you equip it for the first time, I think, you teleport a little bit away. I think it has to do with like the position of the handle of it. I don't know. Look, I even got a script that changes the color every time. Look at that. Okay, give me a cool color. Give me like, um, oh, green is nice. All right, this is the balloon dropper. I'm trying to make it so you don't get this balloon until you unlock it. I don't know how to make that yet, but I'm working on it. This one, the concrete dropper, it has all this uh, rebar in it, which I thought of right away. I was like, oh, we got to put rebar. Then this one I recolored for the uh, concrete pillar. Tell me if you like it. It's just a simple recolor. I'm not sure if I'm happy with it. Let me know if you have some ideas if we should make the color different or even the design. The glass dropper I think was already in the last video, but I still think it looks really nice. Then we have, okay, I don't have the buttons, so I don't know which ones they are exactly, but I think this one is the marble dropper not finished we have some ideas by viewers but if you want to make one as well uh basically what you can do is build it in build mode for treasure and send a screenshot in the discord if you're in the discord for long enough that you have the images roll or make it in roblox studio and then you can just tell me anywhere you can just tell me the id of the model you have to make the model public and then send me the id and then i will make a dropper inspired by your creation I'll, i will put your name in the description of the game if you look in the description of the game there are many names um let's see marble metal metal pillar so those are the ones i need chair marble and the two metal ones so if you want to help you can do that still not much time left because tomorrow i'll be making another one or two and after that probably two more streams and it'll be done will be in the beta here we have the neon dropper really nice uh closely inspired by a design made by a, a viewer i don't know from top of my head who desired which who designed which design <laughs> um but it's all in the description of the game and then for the uh, obsidian one i just i sort of recolored it but as you can see i did change a lot of the details like the neck part is very different i put uh particles coming out which looks pretty cool i made this part a lot bigger as you can see it's bigger here than it is here here it's very thin uh those are the main differences and then now this one is very special the gold dropper oh also before i continue hang on it looks like the balloon is coming from my head. It's actually perfectly coming from your hand, but I'm just wearing this cursed outfit right now. That's why it looks like this. Usually it's just perfectly coming from your hand. Don't worry. <laughs> it's just because I'm wearing this cursed outfit that it looks like that. Um, the gold dropper. This is the last one you unlock for now in the first version of the game. Look at that. Now you might be wondering, Whoa, how did you get this part? It looks exactly like in the game, right? It looks like it was basically an exact copy of in the game. So basically what happened is I found someone on... Uh, I found a model that someone put on Roblox Studio that's basically a bunch of um, build-a-boat things all uploaded to Roblox Studio. They're basically all perfect models from build-a-boat. So I thought, oh, I could put that here. And I'm also going to replace the trees with the real model, etc. But first I had to ask Chill Through for permission. And everyone, even the people in the stream don't know this yet. 
good news chill said yeah we you can use those model basically what he said is uh he doesn't have that much time right now to look in what i'm making which is cool because then he's going to be very surprised when it's done he's probably expecting just a very basic tycoon but it's getting pretty detailed um so yeah he said you can uh yeah I, I don't have much time to check but i trust you that you're not basically what he's saying is that he trusts me that i won't just like try to make a copy of build a boat which i'm not trying to do this is not a copy of build a boat i'm trying to make a tycoon game where you step on the buttons i've hidden the buttons for now because i'm just doing the show showing for the video but usually there's buttons right it's gonna be a tycoon it's not gonna be a stolen game it's a fan game inspired okay it's different <laughs> okay so that's all done um let's see what else i do want to show all the stages i think last time i showed the last five stages now i can show all the stages without the droppers being in the way which will look really cool okay so this is the entrance upgrader they're all upgraders making the blocks more expensive clock tower level uh i forgot what this one is called something tree the pink tree level crystal cave level candy no dessert level is called dessert stage arcade stage cinema stage castle wall tower stage uh vaporwave stage <laughs> And this one is the last one, light lighthouse sti stage. Oh yeah, what's going on? Got a burp in the middle of my recording. Very unprofessional. Lighthouse stage, and of course the waterfall. Everything here is just for decoration, but they are upgraders. So every time a block goes through, it gets it becomes more valuable. And then when it reaches the end, it turns into money, as most of you know because you saw the first video. But if you didn't see that first video, then now you know. Um, yeah, I could go over the entire to-do list. But basically, I don't really have to balance things anymore. I think that's done. I'm not going to talk about this. This is boring stuff. Make the balloon dropper gift the balloon gear. As I said, I'm trying to make it so you get the balloon when you unlock the balloon dropper. Um, and then make all the droppers. So we only need four more droppers. And then boom time for the beta i will replace the badge with a beta badge so no one can get the alpha badge anymore so yeah i'm just gonna upload this one to youtube like this it's going to be an unedited video so i'm not going to let's see what would i usually edit into the video maybe the name of the song shout out to the song is from the roblox egg hunt 2018 it's called wonderland grove main and also shout out to everyone who donates uh the big donators green thunder and carl they always donate so shout out to them uh, i think that's the end of this video sorry that it's not edited i hope that doesn't make it boring i yeah i just i'm streaming so much and making games so much that uh i'm running out of time for videos i'm sorry guys i'm trying my best i'm going to try to make more videos like this where i don't have to edit them too much so i can make more ah that's enough excuses you don't want excuses end the video it's over <laughs> bye everyone don't forget stomp like a dinosaur stomp 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 stomp